Hi guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a great week. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today guys, we are going to take a look at the Spectrum Noir Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pads. Um, I love these ink pads. I absolutely love them. And my goal is to collect all of them. There is 36 of them. They are in color families of three. So like you see this pink here, there is a lighter pink to this family and a darker pink to this family. And so with the blue, I kind of have all of the medium colors of the family. This is the medium color. It has a lighter color and a darker color. With this straw bell, I think I have the lightest color and this is considered a brown and this is the lightest color of that particular family. Let's go to the smoke plume. The smoke plume is um, the lightest color to this family. This grasshopper is um, the lightest color to this family. This honey pot is the medium color to this family. And last but not least, this crushed velvet is the medium color to this family. I have seven different colors here that I've collected so far. Um, five of these you've seen on my last haul video. Two are new, this one and this one. Um, I had been ordered these, but it took them a while to come back and stop in for me to receive them. However, I do have about 15 of these on order, so I am patiently waiting for them to come in. I have worked on some pages with these, and we are actually going to work on, after we swatch these out, which is going to be very fast, we are going to lay down a base layer for a picture that I am going to be working on in Geomorphia for a buddy color for T's channel. Um, guys, let's get started. First of all, let me say this about these. If you are intimidated by distressed inks, I recommend these. With distressed inks, when you try to blend, and I'm going to try to blend two colors here, even though none of these colors are really like um, colors, but I'm going to still try to blend two for you just to show you that even though they're two different colors and, you know, you can still blend these, they will still blend together and work for you. These are amazing. So if you are intimidated by distressed inks, I highly recommend these. These are just a lot easier to use than distressed inks. Now, are they more expensive than distressed inks? Yes, they are. Um, these are about $7 each. Um, that's how much I paid for mine. Um, they're like $6 and 90 some, $6 and 90 some cent. That's $7, you know, after tax it's over $7. So they're about $7 each. And they do not come in a mini. Um, as you guys know, I have a large collection of distressed inks, but I collect, I have some large, but mainly my collection consists of the mini distressed inks. Um, you can get those for about $2 and some change, um, but each, but you cannot get these in minis. You can only get this one size, but I'm okay with that. And I still want to collect them all because I love them. Let's get started. Let's swatch these beautiful. I'm going to move you down a little bit. And we are going to swatch these babies out. Let's do it this way. And then I'm going to show you how they are water reactive. Let's get some Q-tips out. I'm just going to use Q-tips for now for the swatching. And I love how they are stackable and you have your color on the back side and your color on the front. So if you take this off and lose a piece of it, 
um, misplace a piece or mix up a piece, you know what goes on where. I like that about these. All right, guys, let's get to swatching. This is the purple. I love this purple, it's so pretty. And you can definitely use uh, a lighter hand and get a lighter color. But I'm just putting down a lot so you can see the true color. And if you use a brush, like this, these little makeup brushes. Um, I'm gonna put a link to everything you're seeing today um, below, but these little makeup brushes are awesome for this. And I'm gonna show you that with this little brush, you can do the lighter color. See how you could just come in and with a light hand and do a lighter color? Or you can come in with a heavy hand and get that color saturation, you know, that you desire. Let's see how I go. And just rub some off if you want to get this lighter hand to start with. Because see how now it's getting lighter and you can get the lighter color? It's awesome. I love these guys. All right, let's go to the next color. And that was Crushed Velvet. This is Honey Pot. We're gonna try to hurry so we can put that my layers down for the Geomorphia page that I'm working on. Let's try these. I think this might work a little bit better than the cotton swab. And see how I'm able with this cut with this makeup applicator to kind of smooth it out and blend it in. That's awesome. It's an awesome color, beautiful color. I love it. I'm gonna take the other side and use the green. No, because there's a little bit of yellow on there. Orange, let's just get a new one. They come from the Dollar Tree. And this is Grasshopper. Beautiful, beautiful color. And the colors that I have, I chose these colors first because they were colors that I know that I'm going to use. And I have a, a clear cutting mat. This is a clear mat I have over my, over my desk pad to protect it from the ink. I knew what colors I, to order because I would be using those colors in uh, um, future whip, future project. This is Smoke Plume. Sorry, I did that fast. I don't know if you can see that, Smoke Plume. This is a beautiful, I love this color. It is like the true color of smoke. And I just love how you can easily blend these out. They are so easy blendable, I love these. 
And guys, if you want to try this, we're going to do the next this color next because this is ocean blue. And if you want to just try these, I recommend the ocean blue first. Um, or the straw bell. I'm going to show you why I recommend the ocean blue and the straw bell first. Because this blue you can use on water or you can use on the sky for a sky, you know, background. So I recommend these two because you can actually put them to use on, you know, just about any page that, you know, that has a sky or water. So if you want to just try out one, try ocean blue and just, just give them a try. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. And you can get a lighter color by, I'm going to show you. Uh, a piece of paper towel and I'm gonna rub some off and then I'm just gonna rub it on and see how light I don't even know if the camera is actually picking it up I rubbed a lot of it off and see the light color that I'm able to get and just keep rubbing and it'll blend it all in so even if you have harsh lines just keep rubbing you know if you have this brush and it'll blend it all in. Two totally different colors out of one ink pad. So just put saturate your brush and then get a paper towel and rub off and then put it on your page if you want a lighter color. These are awesome guys. All right, let's go to, okay, that was ocean. We are going to go to Straw Bell. And this is another color I recommend because um, you can do a lot with it. Just this color. It's a nice light color. I love that color. All right, let's do our pink. I'm going to turn this around. Save the best for last because you guys know pink is my favorite color. And then we're going to work on that background in Geomarvia. Putting a base layer down with these guys just so you can kind of see how they work. A little bit more than just the swatch. Guys, look how beautiful that is. And just like I say, if you want to blend it more, just keep rubbing. And the more you rub, the more you can blend. And you can come in with this pink. And watch how I'm blending this pink. Put a little bit more on my applicator. This is purple. But I'm going to blend this pink with this purple. And it blends. It bl you can actually blend that in. And it's so nice. It's going to be fairly seamless. Just keep rubbing to get your blend. I'm going to let you see that. And I, this is the pink and the purple blended together. You just keep rubbing to get your blend. These are so blendable. I am in love. I am in love with these guys. Look at these beautiful colors. They are just beautiful colors. I love them. All right, guys. We are going to now... Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Take a couple of minutes and we are going to add 
my first layer to a page that I'm working on in Geomorphia. I'm gonna bring you up for a minute. I have my page marked. We are gonna use, actually right now, we are just gonna put a base layer down for this tree and maybe a little bit, well, I don't really know what I wanna go with the, um, the base of the tree, but we're gonna put the green layer down for this. Okay, so let's find the green and we're gonna do grasshopper. And I'm gonna move you down in just a moment. We're gonna put this, put a paper towel down and we're gonna put that there. I'm gonna bring you down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And this is our pad. Let's find a brush. Let me make sure my brush is clean because I've been playing with these. Okay, my brush is clean. And this is the size brush I'm using for right now. And I don't wanna go in with too much color. So I am going to um, get some of the color off the brush. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one over and just get a little bit of that color off the brush. And I can always add more color. I don't wanna to add too much in the beginning. We're just gonna add a little bit of color And I will make sure we color these trees um, on camera so we can get a whole, the whole picture on how these actually work with pencil on top. So I will make sure we finish this tree on camera in a second video. We're not gonna do it today. And see there, it's a little dark. So I'm just gonna take a cotton swab and blend it in with a heavy hand. And blend it, and it's picking it up. And it picked up a lot of it, great. All right, let's add some more up here. All right, guys, so we have our base layer to this tree. I used grasshopper, and we are going to, on the next video, when we work on this page, we are going to finish the tree, and we will add more layers to the bottom of this page. I'm gonna move you out a little bit so you can see this page. And um, we'll finish this page together using the Harmony ink pads and pencil so you can see how awesome these ink pads are. Guys, I'm gonna put this between this and close this. These ink pads are amazing. I'm gonna put links below to all of the colors that you see here today. Um, you can also buy these in a pack of three with the whole family in one pack. Um, I will link all those below as well. That's available on Amazon guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any question questions about these Harmony ink pads, put your question below and I, hopefully I can answer your question, but I am fairly new to these ink pads, but I did a lot of research on them. Um, they also make great backgrounds where you could just lay down the color. Um, I have my distress sprayer, spray them, let it sit for a couple of minutes 
and then put a paper towel over and lift the water up and it gives an awesome effect. We will do that on the next video. Guys, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.